Hello friends, welcome to the session. Welcome to the session of how to create a 3 tower architecture in ASP.NET using c -sharp. Myself Guru and I am a software developer and I love to do the coding. Okay, and this is my email ID. If you have any doubts and any queries regarding this session, regarding this 3 tower architecture, you can mail me on gurumatrix2004 at the gmail.com and this is my website that is www.questfond.com Here you can find lots more videos on .NET, c -sharp, WCF, WPF Silverlight, SharePoint, .NET Project, UML, SSRS, SSIS, SQL Reporting and lots more on .NET and this is my blog that is gurumatics.wordpress.com So let's start the session that is uh, how to create a 3 tier architecture in ESP.NET using c -sharp. So let's start. Before starting up the actual demonstration of uh, 3 tier architecture let's understand what is a 3 tier architecture. So for that let me just open up my paint here and go to into the accessories I'll go to the paint let me just show you how the 3 tar architecture looks like so let's create the first layer this is my UI layer and this is my BI layer that is business logic layer and this is my DAL layer that is DITAX layer and then a database Here in this scenario I am taking of SQL Server as a database. So so my friends this is how our 3 tier architecture basically looks like. Uh, UI layer, the st let's start with the UI layer. UI layer is a presentation layer where you can write all your uh, HTML code, JavaScript code, your jQuery code, your design, your, your, uh, your grid, your text boxes, buttons your uh, tables all that is comes under the UI layer now UI layer can be anything means it can be your mobile application it can be your uh, web application it can be your mobile application it can be your windows application okay now this is how the UI, uh, UI layer is all about now coming to the BI layer that is business logic layer so business logic layer is nothing but your logic layer the logic which you have uh, normally write as per the business requirement as per your uh, your client requirement as per your customer requirement this is the business logic layer where you write all your logic layer plus you can write your validations also means text box validation radio button validation checkbox validation command box validation any kind of validation you can have in the business logic layer business logic layer is also a communicator between your DAL layer that is data access layer and your UI layer that is one more point of uh, business logic layer now coming to the DAL layer now DAL layer is nothing but the data access layer data access layer data access layer means you can write your uh, connections you can have your queries like select select insert update delete you can write uh, you can have the methods for uh, uh, regarding for the your uh, SQL queries you can you can also access the store procedure queries also uh, connections store procedures whatever you want to have in the data access layer as per the your database you can place it in the data access layer that is dal layer and this is database the database changes uh, as per the requirement you know uh, some of the companies use SQL Server as their database, some some other some companies use Oracle as their database, some companies use the MySQL as their database. So depending upon the uh, the the requirements, the company's requirements, the database changes. So now summarizing again, UI layer is a presentation layer where you can design, you can you can have your HTML form, you can have your uh, grid views, you can have your buttons and all that in the presentation layer. Again, the presentation layer can be changes 
you can it can be a windows form it can be web application it can be a mobile application business logic layer is nothing but your logic layer you write your logic layer as per the business requirement dal layer uh, data access layer is nothing but the it access the database database can be anything that is sql server oracle mysql you can have your uh, sql queries store procedure access you are select insert update queries methods and all that you can write in the data access layer one more point the business logic layer is also a communicator it's a bridge between your ui and dal layer so this is all about the three tier architecture now then you have understood what is the three tier architecture means how the three tier architecture looks like i mean the ui layer presentation layer business logic layer and the dal layer now let's understand uh, why we need to use three tier architecture in our project so for that i have a simple example without a three tier architecture code you know means it means i have written the all the code together only means i have written the code in the in my default.aspx.cs file only that is my behind code of the aspx file i written the connection also means i written the queries also it means i written the data layer in my UI layer only. I did simple validations li like this. If our txt name is not equal to empty, this is simple validation. But still, I written in my UI layer only. I written the logic also in my UI layer only. Okay, so it means all the code I have written in my UI layer. That is presentation layer. Now, for instance, for instance, this is a small application. It is okay. For instance, if you are developing a huge application, let's take up an example of a finance application, where a finance application needs uh, thousands of uh, screens to be created, thousands of uh, codes for the different screens to be written. You know, then what happens? If suppose you have written all the code in the behind, behind the behind of behind code of your the ASPX file, then what happens? You know, now. The application is working very well because you have written the code uh, the properly and everything is working fine. Now your client says, "Okay, I want to change my UI. I want to shift my UI from web application to the Windows application." Then what happens? Because you have written the code in the behind ASPX file code means you have written as per the web application file code. Then again you need to write. all this code in the windows form application also so it becomes a double work again and again you need to write all the codes and my friends it, it is not easy to write the codes for the thousands of screen you know it is not easy if suppose let's take up another example if suppose your database changes now your client says i cannot afford sql server i want my sql server which is a freeware server then what happens again you need to write all the commands because this command is for sql server okay it is sql let's let's suppose if it is a oracle you know if th if the database changes from sql server to the oracle then what happens you know because you have written all your uh, commands and everything as per your sql server again it becomes rework to change all the codes of your sql command you know it is not easy if if your presentation not easy to change any code you know because thousands of files is already created and to change the code in thousands of files it's not easy unless until you you have a huge team you know for a project so if any change happens if any change happens in our project then it becomes very difficult to to handle that situation because it is not is because because we have written all the codes in a ui layer only if ui layer changes it becomes very difficult to replace the ui also if our database changes then it becomes very difficult to 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 replace the database code also because if the i mean from database from sql server to the oracle changes the code is also will code will also change if suppose the validation wants to change wants to change then it is also become difficult to handle the validation in thousands of screen if suppose if the txt name dot text 
his uh, this name should be greater than greater than six you know the length should be greater than six then what happens in all the screen wherever I have written the the txt name dot text validation I need to go and change everywhere here let's suppose here here also in the thousands of files it becomes very difficult to handle any kind of change so for that the three tar architecture has been introduced it means you keep a separate code for UI you keep a separate code for your logic layer your validation layer you keep a separate code for your da data access layer I mean this if suppose tomorrow a UI changes then it becomes very easy just to take out the UI and replace the new UI I mean if the UI changes from web application to the Windows application then it becomes very easy because you already you have a business logic layer a DAL layer because it means there is no rework to write the business logic layer there is no rework to write the data access layer just you need to write the some some code for for business uh, I mean for UI presentation layer which is, which is very easy as compared to this code means without three tar architecture code if suppose UI remains same if suppose business logic re remains same if suppose the database changes then also it is very easy to handle just you need to replace the oracle with the SQL server need you need to write some kind of uh, code for oracle I mean for for processing the queries like select insert update delete store procedure access and all that code you, you need to write for as per the oracle it means only the data access layer will change your presentation will remain same your business logic will remain same only the data access layer will change which is very easy to handle as compared to without non 3 tar architecture application so this is why we normally use in huge application or small application we use a 3 tar architecture to keep a flexibility in the application if anything changes just to plug and play the the architecture so this architecture is normally becomes a plug and play architecture if anything is changes just to plug and play with the new architecture it will works fine okay so this is why for example let's take up an example of a car also if if my running motor is ready I can plug and play that motor in any car I can play plug, plug and play that motor in my Hyundai car I can plug and play that motor in my Santro car you know if the motor is engine is ready I can plug and play that motor in any of car so this three tar architecture is, is similar to that only if anything changes just to plug and play the business layer or data layer or UI layer any kind of layer you can just plug and play it will work fine you know it becomes very easy to to handle the project also it will improve your uh, performance it, it will uh, improve your uh, speed also of your application so now let's see the demonstration of the how to create a three tar architecture in ASP.NET using C sharp let's see the uh, actual demonstration now 